Okay, what we have here is the top for the uh, soda keg. We get the, uh, the bus bars on here. Uh, we get four bus bars. Two are for the uh, plasma steam cell, and then the other two are for the nine uh, HHO cells. So each set of cells has their own positive and negative. These are three, and the fourth bus is right here. So what we're doing is we're uh, joining all four of these buses together with a piece of plastic to keep them from rotating. Uh, if they rotate, they're going to touch the side short off, cause an arc, and probably cause an explosion. We don't want that. What we're also going to do in the future is coat the so inside and the outside bottom down here with uh, fiberglass, put a sh uh, layer or two of uh, fiberglass webbing and then coat that with the uh, fiberglass epoxy itself to help uh, eliminate any arcing conditions. In the I wanted to show you the what we're doing, we're taking a piece of plastic which is some clear stuff right here. This stuff is about 15,000 thick, about a mile hour I guess they call it. And we're laying it on top of here. There's uh, all four of these are going to be connected with some screws, 632 screws. Drill and tap these each one of these bus bars, uh, and then connect a piece of plastic between all four, and that keeps them from turning. So we're putting the uh, mylar on here, laying it out between the uh, holes that are going to be attaching all four of them, and mark them with a marker. Take them off and take them up like a paper punch or a leather punch. What we're using, to punch all four of those holes, and then we're putting the make sure the holes all line up with some clicos. These are what they use for build airplanes. They're called cylindrical cylinder uh, clamps, I guess. Something like this. Spring clicos is what we're using. These are actually number number 40, the number 40 drill, number 40 clico, and these are actuated with a clico pliers. got these at a uh, used uh, salvage yard that buys salvage aircraft stuff from the aircraft manufacturers. Anyhow, that's how we're locating all of these and then we're going to transfer this, these holes after we make sure they all fit onto a piece of plastic. We're going to use a styrene, about a 3 16 inch piece of styrene, cut it out and then attach it back here with some stainless steel 632 screws into these copper buses. Right now we're using uh, steel uh, bolts, actually uh, 30, uh, 3 8 inch, this is what the top looks like here. This center one is going to be the longest, 2 inch, these are all inch and a half length, 3 8 carriage bolts, uh, 4 of them here. In the future we're going to be using copper. Uh, a little better connection, and it's not dissimilar metal, so everything's going to be copper here, copper washers, everything. Uh, and what we're going to do for now, we're actually going to solder this uh, galvanized steel onto the copper, make a good connection, also keep the moisture out, keep it from corroding. So that's what we're doing for the buses. And as far as the insulation goes, we're using a piece of half inch, uh, I forget what the name of this stuff is, let me see, yeah, here it is, uh, clear vinyl tubing, I guess is what it's called, looks like this here, you get it from the hardware store. 3 8 inside diameter, half inch outside diameter, and that's what these holes are in the uh, stainless steel cover. Half inch holes, 3 8 bolts inside this thing here. We're having these cut this about a half inch long, so it acts as that grommet. Once it crushes, it's going to uh, insulate uh, the shank from touching here, and then touch, keep the bolts or the nuts from touching both sides with the, when this thing crushes. So it acts turns into a grommet, that's what it does. 
So it insulates a nut on top, a nut on the bottom, and then insulates right in here with the shank. So that's the only thing I found that's working for this type of a setup. So there you have it.